Good morning, and welcome to our first unboxing video. Today we're going to start with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Come on in. It's a Saturday morning with the Barbershop Duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But from now on, on Saturday mornings... We are the Barbershop Duet. <laughs> we were looking for something fun to do together for a while, yeah. and my shaving club switched blades, so I switched shavers, and I picked this up. But everybody who was demoing it on YouTube was using these crazy cool shaving soaps. Yeah, Artisan's shave soaps, Artisan. we found out. Yeah. And they're, they were, ju I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but they had such beautiful covers and so much care was being put into them and so much love was being given them by the community. Yeah. We went to YouTube and the first five channels that the algorithm showed us, we wanted to say thank you because we did deep dives. Yeah. There are about 25 channels that we found and we will be introducing them to you because we're brand new at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Not new. anything. laughs> um, but these are the people to follow. First up, we have Lather Hog, which I think has a podcast as well. Next is IMCDB, and we have Mark Zerati, and the Sicilian shaver we also got our bull from, you'll see later today. Yeah, he, well, and, not from him, but he, oh, yeah, um, he, he showed suggested it. it. Yeah. Yes, and then, um, which actually I think Mark tried also, we just found a video on. Yeah, Mark just did one on <laughs> so, this video. So anyways, and then the last one we wanted to do today was uh, to refer you to is the Double A Shaves video. So there are a ton out there. Everybody has amazing channels. Just those are the first five YouTube showed us, and we wanted to say thank you for making us feel so welcome as newbies in the community. Yeah. <laughs> and with our hat in our hand, uh, we just want to do deep dives into the soaps and the smells and yeah. not really any of the shavings or anything, no. but just the smells. And so we hope you'll join us and help educate us. Learn and along with us. <laughs> yeah, we've uh, divided the show into 10 segments uh, to make it flow a little easier. So let's meet the soap. Sounds good. <laughs> My family used to travel from NorCal to Southern California every year for vacation in a wood panel station wagon. Not as cool as the Woody on this label, more like from National Lampoon's <laughs> Vacation, but it still counts. And I just fell in love with this label and everybody talking about the smell. There's a barber shop right down the street that I love the smell, and I love the smell of the beach. So this was our first. So on the website, it says, a truly classic masculine summertime barbershop style scent. Mm. That carefree and oh so sure scent of the 60s surf and shave scene. So good vibrations, Beach Barbershop is what we're opening next. Yo, oh, let's do the unboxing. <laughs> We want to thank the Sicilian Shaver for suggesting this bowl from Vanule because um, as newbies, we weren't sure how the soap would stick to the bottom of our Starbucks mugs. So um, we thought we should get... So you get a double unboxing today. Yeah, you get a double today. secret, a secret <laughs> second unboxing. Do you want to do it? Oh. Uh, yeah, you do this one. Here you go. Do this one. Don't mind the knife. So the, the reason we chose this one is that it has a honeycomb pattern. It's made of resin, so it's unbreakable. And... Um, they make it with a honeycomb pattern inside the bowl so that the soap can easily, I'm told, press into the honeycomb. And then when you lather, it kind of stays put. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, so, so we're going to try to get all of our stuff, for, at least for season one, from all the original manufacturers so that you can see how they box and how they ship. So this came UPS Ground, USPS yes. Ground Advantage. And we had ordered a second one of ours, a back order kind of issue, and the customer service there was awesome, yeah, she's and she's so already nice. communicated with us, which is great. So we're excited and to I see what it's all about. I think she's making you a custom bowl with yeah. custom colors. If we get a custom bowl, we will show you. I think um, everybody can. Yeah. this We got the single color, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I don't know. Yes. There was no example. Oh, wow. Check it out. Wow. Whoa. I, I was like, it smells like soap. And, or like grape. And there is a little it grape comes teaser. With grape soap. Uh, <laughs> it smells like, you know, the really good, um, <laughs> I don't know, grape candy. Like it just yeah. smells like, oh, grape soda is what it called. Well, thank we you, go. Monica at uh, Fanule. That oh, was a fun little treat. Is that her name, Monica? I think, Hi, yeah. Monica. Thank yeah. you. This is just. <laughs> at least that's who I emailed with. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. So, oh, wow. So and resin. Made, yeah, resin. I don't know. Which it said it actually is pretty unbreakable. So the mold is made. Yeah, let's not try. <laughs> wow. Very cool. Can you feel yeah. the, the honey? And, and the whole other thing, too, is that it has an easy grip on the outside. I don't know if yeah, you Yeah, there's more honeycomb there's, on the bottom. Yeah, so when you're holding and lathering, that sometimes go. it can get slippery, and the resin is not supposed to. Yeah. All right, so you ready? Let's so, unbox here we go. This that one. was the bowl. Here is the knife. Is oh, okay. Don't grade so, us on our cutting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Phoenix was one of the very first websites that we went to look at, and super impressive. Wonderful customer service. They have their own matching tape. It's very fancy. I'm just going to tear this up. We're just going to manhandle it. It's fine. 
There are technically two in there. Yeah, we so. now uh, we were going to do unboxing videos. We're going to be super fair. Like we're not going to touch the soaps until we box it. But there are two in here. So, so don't, um, look. don't look. <laughs> we're just going to pretend that the beach isn't here because we're going to do the beach later in the season. And we're just going to take out this first one. <laughs> Yay. We will tape this back up. We promise yeah. not to look at or the smell. other soap. That's or smell. Or smell. Yeah. Not so, to smell. Wow. Okay. It's a, it's a little actually bigger than I thought it would be. And how many ounces is this one? Sometimes they're four, five. Mm. What's this one? <laughs> Your eyes are better. Uh, yes. But if I can find it. We'll have to check. Yeah. I, I did put it on the website somewhere, but I don't remember. And look at this label. Wow. I'm judging a book by its cover. But I'm you can see why. Look at that. I'm officially judging a book by its cover. I'm so excited. All right. So, first impression. All right. So, we wanted a segment that was just for us opening this soap and having it sort of wash over us for the first time. So, here we go. <laughs> We've waited so long. Uh, you should see the box of lineups we have waiting. But oh, this is the it's first. It's like Christmas over there. It is. Okay. So, voila. Whoa. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, you first. Wow. It smells really good. But it washes over in waves. Like Whoa. It, I, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, now I get it when they talk about like top notes and yeah, middle notes. Yeah, we're learning notes. about the notes and the things and. But it's funny because it's beach vibe. I keep thinking like waves, like the first wave hits oh, and then it like something else. You know what I love? I smell the barbershop and the beach equally. But they get along. It's they a, don't yeah, conflict. Yeah, right. It's it's not like it's not like oh, there's barbershop and then there might be some driftwood outside. Right, right. It's like I am. On the beach in a barber chair. This yeah, but then is awesome. somehow it's almost like you're sitting in the woods. Like there's trees around the yeah, beach. I think, yeah, the, the the driftwood and stuff. And Something, yeah. Which Oh, I love this. Okay, so let's talk about the original scent notes. Yeah. So their scent profile on the website lists rich late spring tree blossoms. Hold on, wait. Let's do one at a time. Yep, for sure. Yeah? You smell them? Oh, for sure. That, yeah. I think that's what I got second, oddly. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, tree blossoms such as horse chestnut with a distinct woodiness in there. Sandalwood, which I think I definitely got. Uh, mahogany and rosewood. Yeah. yeah I yeah. smell the mahogany too. And then so next it says a light vanilla muskiness. And I do get a muskiness, ah, but it's right. sweet. It doesn't sound like, you know, bad musky. Uh, right. I think musk with barbershop sense is a different than what we be. think of musky. I yeah. think generally in the public you think, oh, it's musky in here. No, I think like more like a musky scent that's just really beautiful. Like, like aged well somehow. Yeah. Or like people talk about Pirates of the Caribbean, how that yeah, like has totally. a musty scent, but it's a beautiful one, right? So And, and then it's it, really subtle. It's like it super says, subtle. So this is, I think, where it gets a little sweeter. It says, a pinch of rosemary. Yeah. A soft lavender. Which mm -hmm. I get that with the vanilla That's for the, sure. Yeah, that helps with the barbershop. Um, amber talk underneath. Okay. And oak moss holding it all together at the base. Boom is what it says. Wow. <laughs> if yep. you don't already own this scent, you need to. Oh, and you know what? <laughs> we were also told that you can't just smell it from here. You have to sort of build a lather. Are you ready? Right. Yes. Do okay, I need I'm to wet scoop, the brush? I'm going to scoop all of this out. Okay. You get in the bottom. Our brush. Right oh, our fancy brush. Yeah. Our new... Uh, <laughs> oh, this is from Phoenix as well. This yes. is the Atomic Rocket. And you have the water right there. But yeah. we're not actually going to shave with this yet. We're no, we're just going to We're just going we're to just make sure we sense. have this, the right smell. I'm okay, supposed go to for do it? it. Yep. Okay. So we are lathering and lathering. Wow. But wow. it's really lathering. That's cool. To, this is wow. our first lather. So I, there's... there's <laughs> I know there's a big talk about it's like how much lab. how much water to add, how much whatever. Yeah, if it gets pasty, but, you add water. Right. If you see a, an iridescent sheen, so you're I, doing okay. Do you want to do a little habitat? Yeah, let's see. Do a little lather. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then at a certain point, can you put oh. a little more water in? I think they might. They might. You, you can just use this over here. Yeah. A little. We need like an eyedropper so we don't screw it up. Oh. Yeah. oh, that might be too much. Maybe not. But we're not we're not shaving with this. We are not just, shaving. We are just testing just to get the smell if it activates anything. Well, hey. You get it? <laughs> Can you smell? Wow. Okay. It's funny, it does make them the smell almost blend together. I know, thank you. It's fine. At least it smells good. Yeah. Yeah. 
I am very is it intrigued. different when you lather it? I said I'm. I feel like the smells even out a little bit more. Like that, you get oh, more waves. Okay. This, I don't know. Does that make sense? Like it seems like it's. Yeah, a little more bit. evenly right blending I guess. somehow. Sure. Um, but I have a feeling if it's fa- closer to your face and all up in your nose, you might get different layers and yeah, sense notes with it. And now, let's talk about what we find. So I, I kind of wanted to do a section where we just smelled the soap and talked about what we smelled and, and talked about the scent notes combining because they're going to combine to make different stuff. Somebody else said too yesterday that they don't put scent notes on their site because they don't want like a certain scent like citrus right. or patchouli or something that you don't like scaring you off when it's not really right. being or used. Or like a preset expectation. Right. When it's not really being used as like a forward scent, I right. guess it's being used to like bring things together well and we we always love candles and different things that have scents because it just takes you somewhere like by the smell yeah. so i feel like that's almost why you picked this one and Let's see i thought it was going to be almost a little too masculine if that makes sense just but like reading barbershop yeah, stuff yeah, but it's yeah. actually it's not as, as no i don't know if scents are, are going to be so yeah like, i'm kind of impressed that that's not even a thing yeah they're going to be so connected to their traditions. Like, I feel like I could wear a feminine scent now. I feel like you could right, wear a masculine yeah. scent. It's just a smell good scent. <laughs> it really is. I'm surprised by a little bit of floral in it. Right. But Because it says this one. But I'm surprised how well that works. Because at first I, I thought like, oh, a beach and, and a barbershop and there's not like flowers. Yeah. But for some reason, you just associate barbershops with flowers, I guess. Maybe. Well, and it just makes me feel like I'm outside. I don't know how yeah, you yeah, can yeah. put a barbershop outside, but that's what I'm getting. Like... All of these woodsy water beach right. smells. Now you you lived in SoCal for a while. Is right. this is this a NorCal beach, a SoCal beach, an East Coast beach? Like, you know, it's funny. I get I get the NorCal, but the sweetness of it makes me think of SoCal. So it's almost yeah. like if I could combine the Not whole like coast. Not like in a Coney Island like candy apple way, but no, more no, no, like no. in a in a like. Um, yeah, because in Southern California, there's so many houses near the water. Like it's almost right. like someone has roses in their front yard, or like something that I'm getting. Yeah, a or like of. in Capitola, where there's like a yes. big stretch of businesses mm-hmm. right along the water. Right, I can like imagine if, if this a being candle there. shop was next to the beach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or the barbershop. So just a little more in my imagination. I didn't imagine the flowers, but I'm so glad it's here. It's it's such a beautiful. I guess if it's a top note. So the first thing yeah. you smell is that what a top note is? Yeah, but it's it's almost like you put like a. a like if somebody had a scented lotion on and they're sitting next yeah, to you at the beach. Yeah, it's like the cologne that I, I, I've smelled at Barbershop. Right. That's it's, the flower. It's not like I watched, walked into something too rosy because I'm not really a fan of Maybe the scent. Even. No, but it's yeah. flower. It's definitely flower. Yeah. Is there any like... there? I might even smell like sand. You Maybe, smell, I you think, smell that? Yes, I think that's what I there is like an earthiness under... Yeah, don't be scared off by me talking about flowers. Yeah, there's a, there's a definite earthiness to this too really beautiful yeah it's almost you know like dusk where it's it's kind of cooling off at the beach and you're getting, yeah that's what it is i think it's more that like not sunshine in your right. face it's not dry noon. sand it's, it's not wet noon. it's that wet it's sandy like golden hour coast right? coming in or tide coming in yeah for sure I, I i really think you'll be happy with this if you if you want to try this and i know what you're thinking <laughs> i really like to smell this too well get your own yeah so we, uh, like I mentioned, for season one, we're going to try to order directly from the manufacturers when we do the unboxing, just so we can support them and see what they do and how they package. And if there's any issues, we can talk right to them. And Right. And it just seems like the artisans and people on hand are who you're talking with instead of Amazon. Yeah, it's very right? impersonal. It's people that this make, is like you're picking a scent. And as we were researching, these can last forever. You don't use much for a leather. So it's almost like you're signing up to have like these new little friends on your shelf. Yeah, so we like great. to go to where they created them and support that business. I won't mention the brand that I've, I've used for, for 15 years with my cartridges, but there's only a few scents and I don't like them. We just use them because they work. <laughs> they, yeah, but works. we didn't realize there was so, a whole new world. Yes, yeah, there's a whole thing. So um, we suggest that you go check out uh, Phoenix's site, Phoenix Artist, uh, Phoenix Artisan so, Accoutrements yes. com, um, or just Google Phoenix Shaving and it'll yeah. come up. Uh, go scout out their site. Screenshots the one you uh, screenshot they the ones you like. They have tons more with cool labels. We will definitely be back with them because we're excited. But yeah, I think they're the only company we're repeating this this season because we we couldn't choose between. Yeah, two of you'll them. see why. <laughs> Well, it's the next day. I've had my shave. 
And it's my first week with a safety razor, so it's the first time I've used a shaving soap. It's a little like comparing apples to nothing. But I will say this. I didn't have any nicks. It felt great. It felt different. It felt safer. It felt better. It felt better. Welcome to Messages. This is the part where you send us messages, we read them, and you help us out with advice, or, or comments, you we'll ask just, us questions. We'll yeah. do the research to get back to If we don't know the answer, we'll find something out. Right. So we got a, a question back from one of our, our test audience members here, and this is from our friend up in Washington, and she says, I don't mean to be a... T but why are you doing this? <laughs> If you can't... So please feel free and safe to comment and ask questions and make comments and... It's just safe. Shave soap. We're just here to have some fun. So, but feel free to ask honest questions and, you know, but we're trying to keep it positive and enjoy hanging out with all of you, everyone. Yeah, and just to give something fun to do on Saturday mornings together. So yeah. please write to us. Let us know what you think. Let us know if there's anything we should be doing and if there's anything we left out. And uh, you'll smell better just watching this. <laughs>